Yet another hole in the good ship lucky. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, welcome back to the channel and the vlogs that are a total time warp right now. As you can see, this is still not done where we are right now, but you've probably seen it completed. These last two pieces are actually right over here, drying with some clear coat. Now that I've sanded them and made them all smooth, I hope it all turned out okay. But today I am going to be attempting to get, well, that hole made proper. So what is that hole for? You might be asking yourself. It is for this. Well, let's remove the drill. Good, good, good job. <laughs> We're about to make a huge mess in here, which is why this whole structure is not permanently mounted yet. But we're going to be installing this little access door, right? hi -ya. And inside of there, we will have access to our diesel fuel tank, in theory. This whole little concept here was actually shared with me by one of my patrons. Thank you, Blair. And he sent me a link to a YouTube video, which I will throw in the description of this video. Uh, at the moment, the channel name is escaping me. But uh, that gentleman over there did this up in his van and it looked pretty darn nifty in my humble opinion. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. I can't begin to tell you exactly how to do things proper when it comes to this. I was literally just shoving the bottle up against the wall and making a little mark roughly where the middle of all this nonsense is. And uh, this is what we have to work with. So now we'll take this outside basically and trace that square around Lucky. This is why I was saying in the last video that I needed um, metal jigsaw saws from Silverton. Still haven't gotten any of those, but I do have the one blade that's left that I used to clean up the hole in the floor. Hopefully it just <clears throat> works. And of course, because I built my structure and the height to where that bottle is going to sit, we now have now what could potentially be a little bit of an issue. So here, this is, uh, this is roughly how it's going to be, right? Right about there in the middle. And we got to cut out a square for this to sort of sink down into. You can kind of see my issue. Because of where I positioned everything, we now have these little sort of gutters to contend with. Uh, hopefully, there'll be enough silicone to just sort of prevent any issues. But, well, I bet you if I put this over here and where the screws go in are on either side of that little, like, channel, we should be okay and think, well, that's clearly way too far over. My goodness. Yes, yes, it's time to do what I do best, which is take a moment and think about things. That's not what I do best at all. I need an adult. You know what the, you know what vehicles are made out of? At least the outside? Sharp metal. At least when you drill holes through them. So don't try to brush them down with your thumb. Are you kidding me? I am not gonna have any digits left by the time this build is done. I don't want to go in the house and disturb everybody. Brooklyn and mom are napping. So we're just going to grab this. Uh, open. This is hard to do. Well. Yeah, quality content. Quality content. Give me a couple bandages. Let's go. There. Thank you for your services, Grace. Let's go rub some dirt in it. My goodness. Man, just as my thumb is healing, too. Get the shop towel. What up? Oh, man. How I still have fingers left after all these years is beyond me. Yuck. That sounds gotta be the thumb. I use my thumbs for so much. I'm never gonna be able to play Nintendo Switch again at this rate. Uh, it was a nice clean cut. Funny thing is this keeps happening on days where I'm gonna be like cutting a bunch of things and putting a bunch of crap into the air. Little tiny particles. <sighs> okay, at least I didn't cut it right off like my grandfather did. It was okay though, he just picked up the tip and Drove himself to the hospital, as he do. Unbelievable. All right, let's not do that again. We also have this. We had a long time to make sure that this line wasn't hitting the pillar right here. And it, it, it seems, it seems to be okay. We're gonna find out real quick. So we are just going to attempt to use that little jigsaw blade that we have. I'm gonna blast four holes in each corner. Well, I'm gonna blast one hole in each corner, four holes in total, and then we'll play a game of connect the dots. We'll have a square that is hopefully, well, it's not a square actually, it's a rectangle, 
but that this will fit into. <sighs> eyeball it, eyeball it. You don't want to do this more than once, let me tell ya. Oh boy. Well, let's go see where that poked out. Well, you can't see squat because of all of the insulation. Moving right along. Just put your entire body weight into it. But only so far, you don't want to smash your head into the van. It's all the insulation coming out. There we go. Don't stop doing that. Yikes. Get the jinx out. <sighs> All right, a real jank saw blade. What could possibly go wrong? Oy. Maybe we go up, not down. That seems silly. Oof. Super easy. Here we go. Blade is doing work. Ooh, it's hot. Shocking. <sighs> and the final one. Use the flannel. Ooh, it smells like a burning. Oh, it's off the. <laughs> it's off the guide. Wow, all right, we can do it, which are back into it. Hey, aside from the fans in the roof, biggest hole I've ever blown in Lucky. Ah, spray foam. Yikes, come on. Come here, you, Did the blade go. Look at that insulation. This is why I'm so warm and lucky all the time. That one didn't quite go. <laughs> okay. Oh, mercy mild. Yikes! Oh, we didn't make it through the wall. <laughs> we'll have to do the wall from the other side, I guess. But uh, here, we got a big old rectangle in the side of the house. Yikes. So yeah, the blade, that did pretty good. Look at that. I was wondering how thick my insulation is in the walls. That thick. Now we're gonna have to, it's okay, we got lots of wood saw blades. That was the hardest part. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna see, every time I do something like this, we're gonna fit something in. Case in point, I made the hole in, the, in Penny's poop apartment for the inverter switch. I, it's never big enough. So before we take the metal blade off, let's see if this actually, fits yeah i can see it doesn't measurements measurements all right <clears throat> measurements always off just just the littlest bit which way do we have to go here i think a little bit more height maybe width i think maybe we'll start by taking a little bit more off right here all right after making a little bit more of a, a mess here and really doing stuff with this tool that I'm sure lots of people would be very unhappy with me about. We need to now fit this bad boy in there. We just got to get that, uh, the wood out. So to the inside. And in here, I just drilled those two holes because the out outer edge actually is beyond the actual edge of the wall paneling. So I just needed those two holes to show me the corners of where uh, this needs to happen. Now we just need to get that wood blade and it should be Bob's your uncle. Let's see if Bob is on our side today. Make sure you move your bloody shop rag and your diesel bottle. There we go. All right, and then let's play connect the dots, shall we? Yeah, that's not even at all. Oh no, how am I gonna get? Oh wait, I can move this. <laughs> I was very concerned. But right, that's not attached. The roof is on fire. Well, that 
Now we got a hole in Lucky. Hello out there, Dad's truck. We're actually not even going to stop here because I want to be able to get the bottle as probably as close to this as I can. So we have to cut a whole bunch more out from the inside, hence the making a mess. But first, let's see how well that little door seats in there. Because if it don't, we're screwed. On this side here. Excuse me. bastard. Probably not. Something. Oh, it's the metal. I wonder if I have a file on this Leatherman. I don't think I do on this one because it's the survival one. I've got a saw. That won't help. Yeah, I'll give it the metal blade back on the jigsaw. Gosh, this is Just digging in. Chill, bastard. Boink. Put this jank ass metal saw back on. I always like to rev up the jigsaw, make sure the blade doesn't go whoop, flying out. Yeah, so we do here. So we still get more and more resistance here. That side goes. This side's tight like a tiger. Hello, governor. It's not quite working, is it? Oops. Bloody YouTubers. They make it look so easy. Here's my thoughts on the inside here. What I'm going to do is pretty actually going to be a lot easier. Just going to draw a line straight down here for the length of the bottle. And then I have to, obviously I have to cut in that way, but the bottle goes right to the hole here. So I can just line up the base of this platform with the hole of the shore power line and cut that way. And then just remove all of that bit of walling. Hopefully the, uh, the jigsaw blade doesn't shoot out. It shouldn't because it didn't come all the way in. So well, let's see what's going on. And that is the plan there. We're going to make a mess in here. All right, so this is very scientific, very precise measuring. You want to take your pen, press it against the bottle and then draw on your wall just like that so that way you know this bottle gonna fit oops well watch the curve at the bottom okay that's our line that's our panel yeesh let's move all these wires Goodness, this is all going to be behind the wall because that has to be the single straightest line I have ever cut. If you would like to hire me, just let me know. Looking good. This may be easier if I just move these. Just oh man, oh man, high freaking yeah. <laughs> Pull it out. Man, I spent so much time putting this insulation in here just to rip it out now. Oh, I'm stuck with that. Hey, where's my. Damn it! Where's the damn. Oh, there it is, Leatherman. You could use that saw now. It's meant to saw branches when you're surviving and struggling for your life in the woods. But I have a feeling it's going to work real good on spray foam. Oh, you betcha. Release, damn you. This is how I'm going to get hard to get. Come on, what's the problem? It's a nice straight line. Just come out. There we go. Get out here. You. Oh, man. All right, so before I yard all of this out of here to clean this up, uh, let's make sure everything sort of like works more or less. Let's shove this sort of back where I want it to live. Sprayful. Yeah, Buster. Come here, you. Use your finger. Use your finger. There we go. Wherever 
where that's going to live. Okay, wires out of the way. Insert the bottle. Excellent bottle. <laughs> okay, so what I need to do is make sure this bloody door still fits. Because if I don't have to take out this last bit of insulation, I might not just because that bottle will be pressed right up against the side of a cold, cold van. So let's see. Hello, pieces. I hope you look so good on the poop apartment. I don't know yet. Kind of, we definitely make that work. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then just a whole bunch of goop. Should be fine. Get this up. I don't have any nails right now. Good grief. And I don't have a Leatherman. Not in. Oh, there we go. Right? Okay. So we're going to seal all that up. Now in the other video, he actually cut a little section out of this right here so that this nozzle could actually fit here. Let's see. I don't, I think I'll be able to, well, it'd be nicer if he was lower. I don't have to cut the notch out because that would be just silly. It works for me. Like it's not perfect. Nothing in life is, darling. So we got the cap off now. That sits about there. I can totally fill diesel, no problem. Close the hatch, lock it. Beautiful. Come get the... Throw some nails, man. So that is that. He also had a backing plate here, and I totally understand why, just in case diesel sloshes out of this. You don't want it getting into the van. So I think I might look at something like that. I think he said he used like tin flashing, and uh, we could definitely do that. Make it all pretty. Hmm. But anyways, I'm glad that that's working out. And we don't have to remove that uh, last little bit of insulation. So our diesel, We'll stay nice and cozy warm. Put the cap back on the bottle. Okay, so I gotta decide if I'm doing that tin flashing. Probably going to. I'm gonna just seal it up with a little bit of silicone and everything. Uh, I have white paint so we can make it look matchy matchy. Uh, but before that, and getting the pickup pipe into the diesel bottle, we gotta, I'm not gonna be able to live with myself. So in order to get this spick and span, this all has to come out. And as riveting as that might seem, I'm just going to do it. Well, I had it clean and then my creative brain started going because I originally intended for this space to be for that 10 liter tank, which was smaller. Now we've got this mess down here because first things first, I decided, well, what do I need this little platform here to hold the bottle up? Will it still work if it's just there, reducing weight? And it seems to be working just fine. However, the hatch to the diesel heater was rubbing quite profusely against the bottle. I have now remedied that, so we've made that uh, scallywag mess under there. So, and now I don't need a way to like hold this hatch open, the tension from the bottle will do it. And no, it's not going to wear the bottle out over time where all the diesel comes pouring out. Everybody just calm down. Of course, in retrospect, I probably should have trimmed that little bit off while it was out. And be back out to sand what I cut. It's gonna be tricky, there we go. There we go, smooth as a crooked baby's bottom. I have decided to make this uh, a little bit smaller on the bottom to fit the neck of the bottle in a bit. I think it will give me a little bit more ease of access. Plus the bottle will sit further in, all that good stuff. Um, but I don't have, all my batteries are dead. We're gonna give that, uh, that poor jigsaw a break. And we're just gonna do this. Silky pocket boy saw that my brother and sister-in-law gave me forever ago. This is one of the most sharpest saws I've ever used. And it's cutting right into this plastic, no problem. Just watch your knuckles, man. Put on a glove. That's the wrong glove. See all those little nicks and cuts on my thumbs. I'm learning. Uh, yeah. Over right there. Okay, good. And maybe here, I don't know. This is all very technical. You can tell. It just eats right into it. This thing is some serious business. I'm going to go this way, though. Mm. Diagonal cuts. 
Ooh, that's a nice sound. Do it again. Come on. Don't mind me. Just modifying the sewer hose for my diesel heater. Stinks. Might have to wait till batteries charge. But I got it started. Good job. You know what I haven't used in a Coons age? My Dremel. Let's give that a shot, shall we? There's what we're modifying. Ooh. Apparently it was left in the on position. Hey, let's go, let's go. Combine your forces. By our powers combined, we cut some plastic. Little more off the top, please. Cut any more doors like I able to close because of the nozzle, my goodness. Put it right into the bloody van. There we go. Back where you belong, Jewel Master. Put the bottle there. Okay, I need to rip in a Silverton for the next step after this. I need a step bit. Turns out I left all my step bits at the old shop. That's frustrating. Before I do that, just because the weather looks like it's not going to remain too friendly, I do want to get this door actually seated and the screws installed. Now, of course, of course. Of course, I have absolutely no idea where my marine grade silicone is that I fairly recently bought when I was in, hey, I think I got it when I was in Cranbrook, actually. It's probably in Grace. Take a double peek. But um, I'm going to have to hit this. I'm going to want to hit this with a couple beads. So we're going to just use some of this stuff, this waterproof dap. And we're going to put a bead all around on the other side, right where the screws go. Then we're going to screw it with the included screws. And then later we will hit a bead of this marine grade silicone around the outside. Let's just get this bad boy on there first. Check that. I had to go back to look in the bag because I only have six screws here and there's eight holes. So they screwed me on that. But they did send it with some butyl tape. So maybe we'll try using some butyl tape on here. See what happens. All right, butyl tape ahoy. Shove her in. I made it a little dirty. Yuck. <laughs> and that beautiful tapes. Preventing it from actually. <laughs> give me a screw. Why the hell do they only give me six screws with eight holes? Don't they know I want to fill every hole? Yeah, two holes remaining. Ridiculous. Right, Pirate Princess did not want to come for a ride with me. Hashtag sad day. Also, mom requested some more milk and dad requested some more Fig Newtons. So our mission has expanded just a little bit.
hardly ever turn right right away. Of course, now I'm standing here looking at these when I don't need it anymore. Unless I'm completely missing where they're hiding the step bits. Let's ask, shall we? Hello, sir. How are you today? <laughs> oh, pff, never mind. Right in front of me. Holy shit, those are expensive. <sighs> $17.99. What you didn't see <laughs> was the, the step bit that I actually would have needed was $82.99. And for how often I need a step bit. This seemed like a better investment. And we're the proud new owners of a one inch, 25 millimeter hole saw. We'll get there. And I was just talking to the guys in the store here. Uh, I got another one and saw my hat and complimented it. I'm getting compliments everywhere I go. Great jokes about, you know, there's still assholes in Montana. Yeah, they're everywhere. But I got to talking about how I'm going to Montana later this summer. And uh, we were talking about the uh, the road to the sun, which is this highway in Montana that as far as I know, I was on at least once when I was a, like a little boy and I was going down to this place where my grandparents used to go to summer. And apparently you can't even get on that highway anymore unless you book it. Super weird. So we're going to have to look into that and see what's going on. But always nice to have those little conversations with the, with the people out here. It's what makes it worthwhile when you have to spend $17.99 in your whole saw. For one bloody hole! Fig Newtons and milk. We've got a little bike in the back. That didn't close. We'll let the milk ride in the car seat. Fig Newtons keep the milk nice and safe. Okay, it's the next morning. I actually got this all done last night, so all those ends are on. You've probably already seen that. Uh, and I wanted to get to this last night, but I wasn't thinking. I shouldn't say I wasn't thinking. I was busy and tired, let's put it that way. But I mentioned that I might get flashing to protect the inside of this thing. Oh no, I locked it. I need the keys. <laughs> um, but when I was at Silverton yesterday, I didn't get flashing. Not because I forgot, because, but... Um, where are they? Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go but because I already have something that I could use and why get them to cut me a piece of tin? I mean, it wouldn't cost much, probably less than a dollar for the amount that I need um, for in here, right? To cover this hole. But yeah, that thing I very well could have, but I already have something on hand that I think will work just fine. I need to get my tape measure and measure that to measure the, the hole there, but I've got this leftover kitty litter pan that came with the, the new litter pan that Penny's been using downstairs. It was a sifting pan that came with three of these. Well, two of these and one with the, the sifter part in it. But this material, I should be able to just cut super simple to that hole shape, cut around the bottle dozzle, and that should work just fine. And we already have it on hand. This is going to be hidden in here. We're barely ever going to see it. This doesn't have to be pretty or exact, but we will do that then. four and a half ish by force it in there. Five and a half. Simple. And then we just got to cut around the nozzle. Let's do it. Four and a half by five and a half. Okay, let's see, does it fit in there? Oh, look at that. 
He sure bloody does. And we just gotta cut out a notch. Boom. Clapper with silicone. And we all sealed up from the elements. All right, a little bit later in the day now, and I wanna get to this now before we wrap uh, everything up. The reason I got the whole saw yesterday, we'll put that right up here for now, and that is this. So, on my old style tank, I had my pickup line down here, shooting out the side, right? And that was fine and dandy. However, I would like to take more advantage of the fuel that I have in the tank. So we're gonna use this top, I think it's called a standing pipe, style setup. So we're going to, to drill a hole in the top of the bottle and we need to bend this pipe so it goes around our little mounting points here in the bottle. And also we're going to end up with way too much pipe. So hopefully this stuff can be snipped with my angle cutters. I don't know. We're going to find out. First things first, I am going to bend this pipe appropriately so it comes down to the bottom. We don't want it right to the bottom obviously because we don't want to be picking up any gross stuff that's resting on the bottom of the tank. And also we don't want to be pressed against the bottom for obvious reasons. Sometimes you like to be pressed against the bottom. This is not one of those times. All right, this looks more or less good to me. And I'm thinking cut the pipe right about there, maybe. So we're not right at the bottom, but there's still a bit left, maybe a tiny bit higher. Maybe we'll go, maybe we'll go right there. All right, moment of learning. Yep, that absolutely comes through, except I'm now gonna need pliers because I completely pinch the end closed. My goodness. Get the pliers. Okay, I got my pliers here, so hopefully I can just pinch this sucker back open. I don't know. Come on, you bugger. Let's go. Don't twisty twist. Don't twisty twist on me. The answer is yes, you can. Okay. Hmm. Now we got our or pickup line. Perfect. All right, imparting wisdom from stuff I've learned on YouTube. So on the top of the standing pipe, we're going to take this nut off, put it over here, going to take off this little flangey flange, which is sort of got one way to go. So got to make sure it goes back on the right way. We'll just put it on a bottle like that. And then we want to take off our rubber gasket. Why am I taking this off? Well, for measurement purposes, silly. We figure out whereabouts on the top of the bottle here, we want our standing pipe. So if it was there, let me just double check my bends. All those always be rebent later. Yeah, I can always rebend it. I think I want it a little bit more here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our pen because I don't know where the hook my Sharpie went. And we're going to put a mark on the outside here and the outside over here. It's almost like pens weren't designed to write on plastic diesel bottles. Weird. Not a lot of, not showing a lot of forward thinking here. Well, there's a little bit there. So that's the space we want. What I'm going to do, so this remains nice and flush, I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife here. We're just gonna trim off this little sort of spiny spine on the bottle. Don't pierce the bottle. That's, that would never be a good thing. Give it a little shave and a haircut. Let's go. Everything is nice and flush once we get this all sort of mounted. All right, now that that's sort of trimmed up there, I'm going to put the washer back here. Would it be better if I just did it over here? This bottle is huge. Why don't we just put the hole here and avoid that all together? So I'm not drilling into the, the seam. That's smarter. Nah, go in the middle. Okay, keep it simple. Make the mark in the middle. Now we have our point where we have to hole saw. So now I'm gonna need my drill. Oh, goody. And we get to open up this bad boy. Of course, it's, it's a lot easier to open when you don't have a bum thumb. Gotta stop slicing my fingers. I'm running out of them. Welcome to the family, one inch hole saw. Oh, this keeps going from bad to worse. The attachment that holds the hole saws on that I have is not small enough, i.e. it's too large for the one inch one. Will not, will not fit on. Why can't they just make all of these things universal? This is delayed. Son of a <sighs> all right, it's the next morning. It's actually a beautiful morning out. We ended up going to the hot springs and going into town to the pizza place for dinner last night. So I didn't get anything done. This is fine. Um, I don't know if anything would have been open yet.
or uh, yesterday anyway. But now it is bright and early the next morning. Everything is about to open in like 10 minutes. Uh, Dad needs some groceries from New Market. And we're going to go to Silverton and we're going to get the bit that hopefully fits this whole saw. That is the plan. Uh, I want to get this done first thing in the morning because we are going over to Sanctuary for a, I guess, brunch. Or maybe we can finish up the project when we get back. So, fire up the Irish Power Queen and get ripping through the mountains of the West Kootenays. First, let the cheap warm up just a tad and get some of this delicious mango revita in you. I'm very excited. They just announced a new mystery flavor that if you place an order this weekend, which is completely irrelevant to any of you watching because I don't know when this video will go live. That's a lie. Tuesday in two weeks ish. Not two weeks, a week and a half. <laughs> but they were going to include a, a free sample of the new flavor. My guess is watermelon. Mm, which is funny because I don't really like watermelon. I mean, it's fine. I'm not opposed to watermelon. But I've always liked artificial watermelon flavor better. Which I can't say for, for most fruits. Usually it's just like, no, if it's going to be a banana or artificial banana, I'll take the banana. But when it comes to watermelon, you know what I blame it on? Bubblicious bubble gum. That watermelon flavor was to die for. Let's go. Sometimes it's best to just stop what you're doing and go take a minute to look at the beautiful lake or whatever you might have around that you find beauty in. This, that's what I need. It's called a mandrel. <laughs> there we go. I also confused him because I brought up to the uh, the counter a three inch hole saw. And he was like, well, let me make sure that this one will work. I'm like, no, no, I have the one for that. I just didn't have it for this one. Now we do and we can drill all of the holes. Oh, that's it. That's all we needed. Unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy my day and we'll get back to this later this afternoon. But before that, stop the farm. Is that this way or this way? Let's pull. Pull. Let's we'll see some goats. <laughs> Us coming along. Hi, guys. <laughs> Out of here. Oh, did we? Hello, darling. How are you? Good. Hey, guys. This is, wow. Since the last time I saw it, yeah. This is our fort. <laughs> it's our fort. <laughs> goats are like, is it done yet? They're ready. Holy Dinah, look at it. Wow. Oh, right through there. Look at it go right through. Well, there'll be a door eventually. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? Getting shit done. Hello, sir. Hello, man. How are you? Good. Whoop. Getting. Whoop. Wow. Yeah, there's goats everywhere. Oh, yeah, happy Easter. Yeah. Coming along. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Well, hi. I'm just going to put the latches on. Yeah, the sheets of tin on there. Hey, Clover. What are you, drunk? Beer. Goat after my own heart. <laughs> hi, Oh, yeah. You get that pig 
Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You gotta go grab him. Rub his, rub his back. He won't do nothing. That's a friendly pig. Yeah! Can you come down at the pirate? Absolutely. Would you like me to just jump? All right. I believe that everything that could go wrong has, and we've done everything else that we needed to do. I say we wrap this up by inserting a standing pipe into our diesel bottle. What say you? So the trick here, obviously, is gonna be to get this base, it's a rectangular base in. All right, let me just double check, make sure our standpipe is where we want it to be. And we're gonna feed this bad boy in there. There we go. Twisty twist. Ooh, how are we, yeah, there we go. Get in there, shove it in. Shove it. Oh no, where's our line? Yeah, why is it hitting over there? My kingdom for help! Oh, it's way over there. Okay then, a little trickier than I thought. There we go. Easy, fixed. Now we put this on back the way we took it off. So gasket first, right? Press the gasket down over the threads. Looking good, looking good. Come on, you. Get down past the threads. All right, all right. Then our weird thing. <laughs> a washer of some sort. Okay, and then our nut. Screw the nut good and hard. Well, not too hard. Just finger flick it on to begin with. There we go. Double check, see where the tip of our sanding pipe is. Can we even see it? Hello? Here she is. She's down there. Oh, that's why we can't have nice things. I'm gonna get my Leatherman because I don't have a ring. Actually, oh, I have these pliers here that we use to pinch our hole open. Just give this a couple more turns. As I understand it, just to snug it down. You don't want to break anything. But you also don't want diesel flying out everywhere. That's obnoxious. Ask me how I know. Hi, Hi sweetheart. How are you? I just need to get mounting bolts out of my tank, along with plastic bits. What's up? I want these to turn. Okay, I will be right there. I'm almost done. Fire Princess is riding her bike. Needs help. Well, actually, she just needs a fan. There it is. Aha! Mounting bolts. Any more plastic bits? I think we're good. Our pickup pipe or standing pipe or whatever you want to call it. Seems nice and solid. Where'd that lid go? Let's slap it into Lucky's new hole. There we go. Now, obviously I still have lots to do. I got to seal up the little guard that we made, get this properly mounted to this plywood and all that good stuff. And then of course, test it. That's what I'm going to do before I do any of that. We will attach the fuel line, we will attach it to the fuel pump, attach it to the heater, and hopefully Bob's your uncle, everything works just fine. But all of that sounds like a future Matthew problem. So I am going to go chase my little pirate princess around, and I'm going to leave this one here. And I am satisfied that I got finally got all of that done. What a run around. But it is what it is. Until the next one, everybody, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. And remember, only dead fish go with the flow. You ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay.